welcome to what i ate in a day it's been a while i've been completely uninspired food wise because i'm so so busy in yoga teacher training i just prep all of my meals and they're all the same and no one wants to see that but i'm having some iced coffee this morning i made this french press last night i know the coffee aficionados are going to come after me and say but the oils over steep and it's not the same girl it just tastes like strong coffee to me and that's what i need a nice strong cup and then i have some creamer that i made here my friend melanie over at the modest dish um just did a video with six vegan coffee creamers so this is inspired by that I'll show you how I made it. It's a pecan coconut creamer. Um, and I always thought that making your own creamer was super hard, like that you had to have something to thicken it for it to have that like super creamy consistency. But Melanie taught us all <laughs> that that is not true. I'll link her blog down below so that you guys can get the full recipe. But I'll show you guys how I made this after I show you how creamy amazing it is. Look at that. And it just mixes up nice and beautiful like a store-bought creamer would. And it's so affordable and amazing. I am stuck in the middle. Yeah, I'm stuck in between. I am stuck in the position. Machine, so you're stuck in the middle. Huh? I guess we're stuck in between. Life is a riddle, yeah. And I don't know what it means, nah. This is what it feels like. But you're not alone, cause I'm just like you. is so so good oh my gosh i remember my granny always used to say things like when you're older your taste buds will change or she'd be like oh i can't eat this it gives me this i can't eat this and i used to love sugary coffee like i loved my sugar-free vanilla latte i loved a regular vanilla latte but now i'm one of those people that just like coffee and cream i don't add sweetener barely ever um don't get me wrong I love a good pumpkin spice latte every now and then. Me and PSL, we're like this. It's my nickname, PSL. But lately, just the coffee and cream, and I feel like when I have the coffee and cream, I don't crash the same way that I used to. I used to get a coffee crash, and then I'd be like, oh, I need more caffeine. And I thought that it was from the coffee, but now I feel like it might have been from the sugar. I'm not sure. I'm not a body scientist. This is just what my brain thinks. <laughs> and you guys know I don't eat breakfast. Um, it's about 12.30. I'm going to start making some lunch soon. And I need leftovers because I have yoga teacher training tomorrow. And I want something yummy besides the same things I've been taking <laughs> every single week. So I'm excited to make my Green Chef meal because I'll have a meal now. And I'll have a meal for tomorrow. And then I'll probably have some of my plain old prep food for dinner. <laughs> It's not bad. It's just repetitive, you know. Mm. Have you ever heard that myth that if you drink through a straw, it'll keep your teeth white? I don't know. I've heard that. So I try to put my straw, my straw, <laughs> my Texan is showing y'all, my straw <laughs> behind my teeth so that I don't get brown teeth. I'm sure all the dental assistants in the comments are like, that's not true. It's just what I heard on the internet. Everything you hear on the internet is true. But I'm going to go <laughs> enjoy my coffee with my silly puppy. And I will see you guys at lunchtime. It's super gloomy today. You probably can't tell because of the magic of camera lighting. You all right over there? <laughs> but it's super gloomy and it's really chilly. So 
I hope that there's something warm and cozy in my green chef box. So I'm gonna have a kiwi, a golden kiwi, cause I'm obsessed. Um, and a lot of you guys are really impressed by the spoon trick, but it actually tells you on the container that that's how to eat them. I didn't think of it by myself. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna have for lunch. To spark my creativity and keep my palate pleased, I have been leaning on Green Chef super heavily. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company. They have meal plans that include paleo, vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, Mediterranean, heart smart, lean and clean, keto, gluten-free, and omnivore. You can switch your meal plan whenever you're ready to try a new way to eat. So if you're pescatarian, maybe give vegan a try for a week. Ingredients come pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and mostly prepped. Green Chef's expert chefs design flavorful recipes for your lifestyle that go way beyond ordinary substitutions. If you'd like to give Green Chef a try, they were so gracious to offer $50 off of your first box. All you have to do is visit greenchef.us backslash edenjacks for $50 off of your first Green Chef order. I wanna thank Green Chef so much for sponsoring this video. I know lots of members of the fam have tried out Green Chef and are loving it. Getting ready to make some lentil balls. So this is the best kind of can opener ever. I love it, I got it at my local HEB. If you don't live in Texas, you have no idea what that is. Or Oklahoma, I think there's one in Oklahoma. But it's like a sideways one. So good. Way better than any other can opener you will ever have in your entire life. I haven't made any kind of like veggie balls for a really long time. I used to make eggplant balls when I first went vegan, but as I said, uninspired. So I'm going to drain and rinse these. All right. I got my lentils. And then my breadcrumbs are already pre measured. So I'm just gonna toss these into here. And then it calls for two tablespoons of olive oil, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use avocado oil as my oil. You can sub things out, it's fine. One, two. Or it can be like the Tootsie Roll oil. A one, a two. And then there's this yummy cashew parmesan that's for the top, but you add two teaspoons into here and then some cracked pepper from Trader Joe's and a little bit of sea salt this is what we're working with so far lentils ingredients and then two tablespoons of water so you can use a potato masher or a fork just mash these then we're gonna form them into balls so this is reminding me hardcore of like Italian wedding soup I used to love just like the nasty canned Italian wedding soup but you know you live and you learn what things are good for you and what things are not but this is what this is reminding me of I love rosemary too I remember my old roommate Sarah hates rosemary she said it tastes like trees but I love rosemary so and I love that it kind of tells you like hey if it's still a little dry it's okay to add more until it's this consistency all right let's see if these come together so just wet your hands a little and then give them a squeeze yeah, they came together just fine. So, little lentil balls. And I'm gonna form these and then pop them into a pan. I have a pan heating up back there and it has some oil in it. Some avocado oil. What did I teach everyone in my 30 things I learned in 30 years? Always set a timer when you're cooking. So I set my timer, my lentil balls are in the oven. I have my soup going back there. I added in my kale stems, which I thought it was great that they incorporated the stems instead of throwing those out. 
my mushrooms, my bell pepper, my onion, and half of my rosemary. I'm gonna let the stem soften before I add in my organic tomato and roasted red pepper sauce. When my timer gets to five minutes, I'm gonna add in my baguette to toast this for our pesto. Vegan pesto, yes please, I want it smeared all over my body. Yum. Realize what you want, the things that you dream of, and the things that you don't know. This is what it feels like. But you're not alone. Wow, Canon shout out to Canon G7X. All of you guys have my camera. I use not all of you guys, but some of you. Um it's like dark. The street lights are on because Austin's confused. It's like, is it day? Is it light? It's like two o'clock, but it's dark and the street lights are on, but it looks like it's daytime in here. You saw this amazing soup. Let's taste it. I got to get myself a lentil ball and kale. As you guys know, I love kale. Kale has replaced broccoli for me because broccoli feels like sandpaper going down my stomach. It's really hot and I'm really, really scared. I'm trying to channel my inner Guy Fieri and like have steel mouth and just bite into it, but I can't do it. Vegan Zombie does that too. It'll be like right out of the oven and he's like, ah. I'm like, you're gonna burn your entire taste buds off. That is a hearty soup. I need a mushroom. Mushroom, bell pepper. I don't make tomato-based soups often enough. I love a cauliflower cream-based soup. Potato-based. I don't do tomato enough because this is really, really hearty and yummy. Let's do a quick dip of the crostini with that vegan pesto and see how that goes. Mm. They have like huge chunks of garlic in that pesto and it's so good and something crunchy. It must be, I don't know if they used pine nuts or cashew, but it's really good. Uh, Green Chef has done it again, y'all. Even if you just try it out once on a week where you're like, uh, I have to work overtime this day and I have to do this and I gotta pick up the kids, order you a Green Chef box, greenchef.us backslash Eden Jacks, $50 off your first box, try it out. You might become addicted and want it every week. I'm not responsible for that, but try it at least once. Mmm. That cashew parm is good, and they were generous with it. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of it, so heck yeah. The mushrooms are good. You know it's a good soup when you get, like, the sniffles a little. <sighs> All right, I'm going to go eat this. Check out Green Chef, y'all. So good. I've got some cucumber, English cucumber, avocado, and some little yellow tomatoes here gonna add a few spoonfuls of this quinoa i kind of cook it at the beginning of the week and then just eat it throughout the week and i just sniff it every once in a while to make sure that it hasn't gone all wonky on me that's the easiest way for me to find out so i'm just gonna put i don't know a few spoonfuls of that into my bowl i've, I've transferred it into a larger bowl and then some of this trader Joe's sauce. You guys always say that I say it wrong, so <laughs> you'll have to let me know. So I'm putting some of however this is pronounced into it, that much. And then a squeeze of lemon. And the quinoa is seasoned, otherwise I would add like seasoning to it, but the quinoa is already seasoned. And then you just 
mix it up. This is like so fast and easy. It literally takes like two minutes to cut the veggies. I said that it took five minutes in a vlog, but it definitely doesn't if you cook the quinoa ahead of time. And it's just like super simple. You can make big batches of this, but I like to do it the same day because I don't like soggy cucumbers. It weirds me out. And then you just get a bite of everything on the spoon. Mmm, this is so spicy and good. Not like, knock your socks off spicy. You'll, your socks will stay on, but it's good. Mmm, well, that's what I'm having for dinner. I have to take Nicole up to her grandma's house because we have split custody until I'm done with yoga teacher training. I'm taking this one, the tempeh one, up to mom one because a little bit of garlic bread on occasion is okay for me or a little bit of breadcrumbs mixed into my meatballs is okay. But I can't do full wheat pasta, like a full meal. It's like majority wheat. So I'm taking that up to mom. So this tempeh with exo. So this tempeh with exo, that'll be her thank you for babysitting your grand puppy present. So she'll like that. She always loves when I bring one of these meals up to her. But I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. And until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart. So good. <laughs> Practice unconditional compassion, but don't take shit from anyone. I'm like choking. Pepper went down the wrong side. <laughs> I love you endlessly. Uh, don't take shit from anyone. <laughs> I love you endlessly and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll talk to you really soon. If you want to try out Green Chef, greenchef.us backslash Jacks. I'll see you guys really, really soon. <laughs> Bye.